Hello everyone, welcome to Novel Review. Alex Michaelides, born in Cyprus, studied English literature at Cambridge University and MA in screenwriting at the American Film Institute in Los Angeles. He wrote the film The Devil You Know in 2013 and co-wrote another movie The Con Is On in 2018. The Silent Patient is his first novel. The Silent Patient is a psychological thriller revolving around Alicia Bernson who had killed her husband Gabriel six years prior for reasons unknown. When she was found in her house with a gun, she refused to speak anyone and tried to kill herself. But she was rescued. From then on, she never said anything to anyone and was seen only painting a single painting of herself naked in her studio with the word Alcestis. Alicia was found insane and put into an asylum called The Groove. Theo Faber, a psychotherapist, was fascinated by her story and he decides to help her. During their first therapy session, however, Theo is disappointed to see that Alicia is heavily medicated and is unable to understand him. Theo asks for Alicia's medication to be reduced and Diomedes, who is a professor of psychiatry at Imperial College and who rescued Alicia earlier and brought her to grow, he agrees. Meanwhile, Alicia's doctor, Christian, is not happy that Theo talked to Diomedes about Christian's patient. But anyway, on the request of Diomedes, he lowers the dose given to Alicia. Theo is very much attached to his wife Kathy. He loves her so much. Meanwhile, in a diary entry from Alicia six years earlier, she reveals her mother's apparent suicide when her mother purposely slammed their car into a wall with Alicia still inside. During their next therapy session, Alicia attacks Theo, but Theo sees it as a sign of improvement as she is actually communi communicating an emotion. During all these events, she never talks a single word. That night, Theo discovers that his wife Kathy is cheating on him with a mysterious man over email. This affects his next session with Alicia and he asks her if a part of her hated Gabriel and that led to murder. Like now after finding Kathy cheating, he hates Kathy. Enraged by this question, Alicia storms out of the session because Alicia loves her husband Gabriel very much. Theo heads home to learn that Kathy is planning a night out with her old friend Nicole. Theo is is deeply suspicious and resolves to learn the truth himself. Meanwhile, Theo now goes to the gallery where uh, Alicia's artwork are kept and he meets Gian Felix. Theo then at Gian Felix request read Al Alcestis. It's a Greek tragedy about a woman named Alcestis who sacrifices herself for her husband and is saved by Hercules. When she returns to life, however, she is silent just like Alicia after Gabriel's murder. He now learns the reason why the painting had the word Alcestis. Theo believes Alicia will communicate through her painting and he asks Diomedes if they can let her paint. One night during all of this, Theo follows Kathy to her supposed meeting place with Nicole. He is disappointed however when Nicole actually arrives and not the mysterious man who Kathy has been emailing. Back at the group, Theo and her another doctor, Yuri, introduce Alicia to her own painting space. Within a few days, she paints a picture of the group on fire and Theo carrying her outside. It is unclear if he is carrying her to or from the flames. Why did Alicia draw this picture? It is a mystery. You read it, you will surely know it. After this, Alicia's old neighbor, Barbie, tells a very interesting twist to the tale. That is, she tells Theo that Alicia had a mysterious story but she never told Gabriel or the police. So the whole plot gets thicker now. Is the stalker the murderer? Meanwhile, in the group, things turn murkier. Alicia stabs another patient named Elif in the eye. Why does he stab him? You read it. Alicia is now isolated and Diomedes tells Theo that his therapy sessions with Alicia are over. A dejected Theo goes to see her and she gives him her diary. This is the Pandora box. In the diary, Alicia reveals that she was being watched by an unknown man. However, everyone she told about him, she even mentioned about the stalker to Gabriel and to Dr. West, but they did not believe her. Dr. West even forced Alicia into accepting pills. She even believed the man would attack her. So this place gets a little twist because Alicia's neighbor Barbie tells that Alicia had a stalker, but she never told Gabriel or the police. But in this diary, she says that she had told Gabriel and Dr. West. In the diary's last entry, she writes that 
the man was inside her house so is this the man the killer but the diary has no entry afterward but theo finds a very very strange discovery that is theo realizes that dr west is actually christian who is now giving treatment for alicia in the group so theo goes and confronts christian but christian says that alicia was delusional paranoid and incapable of empathy finally he gives back the diary to alicia but she seems disappointed theo decides to look out for more answers after receiving further permission from diomedes theo continues to meet alicia she tells him about her life and this is the place where alicia finally begins to talk she tells him about her life and they eventually share stories from their childhood after a few days she finally tells him about the fateful day the man broke into her home and how he shot gabriel the man knocked gabriel out tied him up and shot him in the head six times before leaving this is the statement given by alicia to theo but alicia's story does not match the police evidence and both theo and diomedes believe she is lying now theo in a turn of events finds who the mysterious lover of kathy was and he follows him to his house he had an intent to kill him however when he sees a woman inside the mysterious person's house theo decides it is time he needs to save her and he comes up with another plan the next day unfortunately theo learns that alicia is overdosed and is in a coma theo finds a prick in her wrist and reveals that someone injected morphine into her diomedes tells theo to find alicia's diary and they both call the police when questioned by chief inspector allen theo blames christian who lied about the overdose minutes before alicia passes out from morphine she writes one final diary entry telling the entire truth this entry from her tells who the killer was on that day and when the secret at the heart of this novel is revealed it is guaranteed to make your jaws hit the floor the silent patient overall is a different package altogether no major twist turns drama and masala stuff but it rather draws you bit by bit into the mystery just like a spider draws its prey into its web there are no shocking turns throughout but the mystery is revealed layer by layer sometimes by contrast readers get up close and personal with the psychotherapist theo and his wife kathy because it is theo's story that we follow most closely here michael edes adds yet another layer of mystery there because this place keeping keeps reader hooked and you have the gradual unveiling of theo's secret even alicia's secret are also coming into light so you have both secret popping up into the uh, popping up in the same time One setback I would say is that too many characters around 30 to 30, 32 people appear in different pages and in many way are related to the story so I would say this is a, a little setback but still I feel that and uh, those who have read a number of twisty mysteries will for sure guess the truth who the killer is so because uh, the mystery was revealed in such a way but for me it was not like that i feel that those who have read a number of uh, twisty mysteries will likely guess the truth but overall it was a fast read that kept me uh, intrigued from the beginning to the end and the shocker came at the end when alicia wrote the diary for the last time and for me it was like uh so because i was reading very fast and it was like uh, oh just wait what happened and then i had to read the chapters once again so it was like that uh no doubt i feel that this is one of the number one new york times best seller uh read it i do not exaggerate or anything but read it you will slowly see the mystery unfold in front of your eyes thank you see you all in another video where i review another book thank you